Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Sorry for shooting an indoor life video for you guys today, but it has been pouring all day long and I didn't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you guys about this Apex 300 from Blue Eddy. This is different than any other power station I've reviewed on the channel. And to be honest with you, it's different than any other technology that I've seen sold as this beginner friendly all in one system. To be able to get a power station or power solution off grid to do what this system is capable of, I've always had to build it component by component from scratch. So a lot to cover today, let's get to it. So folks, this new power station from Blue Eddy is designed to be a high performance unit in and of itself. They're selling at really incredible price points. I'll put those links in my description, especially if you jump in on the early bird stuff. The early bird deals are really good. I'll include those links for you to peruse because the setup that I got, I actually got this with one of their expansion batteries, knocked this down under 40 cents a watt hour, even a little less than that, making it one of the most inexpensive solutions for this off-grid power center. Now notice I'm gonna try not to call this a PPS, a portable power station. This is just a power station. This thing, I'll put the exact weight on the screen, but this is a massive, massive setup. I can still pick it up, but you might wanna have a buddy with you if you're gonna do that. So I do think it's still acceptable for our RV and van builds. It's no heavier than a cooler filled with ice, but it is certainly not one of those super lightweight portable power solutions designed just for charging your phone. This thing has some serious oomph. So starting just with the Apex 300, the mothership, this has a 2,765 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And you guys know power stations by now, it's top level automotive grade. It's gonna be good for thousands and thousands of cycles. Now they're including a wall charger built in like any other portable power station. You plug it in and it'll charge from the wall. It has two MPPT solar charge controllers. They're good for 1200 watts each. With two of those controllers, that means you could run 2,400 watts of solar, or you could run a solar array on one of those ports and use a car charger or the charger one on the other port. There's all sorts of solutions. Obviously, everything is top of the line on the charging for this system. Now it also has a pure sine wave inverter built in. You have four 20 amp receptacles on the front and you can use the two sides simultaneously. So you can get 1920 watts out of each side for a total of 3,840 watts. That is a massive, massive pure sine wave inverter. But unlike any of the other power stations that we've reviewed on the channel before, it actually has a real RV output on this. I'm gonna get a workout here moving this thing around. But you have a 30 amp RV style plug and it's real. What do I mean by it being real? In the past, I've seen lots of power stations give you that 30 amp style plug, but it actually didn't have more than 20 amps of capability. Your RV plug would fit in there, but you'd still trip the outlet if you went over the current draw of a normal household outlet. So the only thing they were doing for you is avoiding the need to use that dog bone adapter. So they weren't really saving you much. This power station actually has the capability of putting out 30 amps. So for my teardrop, I can run the window air conditioner and go back and make a cup of coffee with an electric coffee maker and not trip the inverter's output on this. So that is incredible. But there's also a 50 amp plug on this. And we're gonna talk more about this, but with a simple switch on the front of this power station, right over here, you can go to 240 volts. So that's awesome for RV stuff. Most of the time we can get around that, but that means I can run this to a sub panel in a cabin. I can power my well pump. 
If you outfit this appropriately, you could run an electric dryer or even an electric oven if you felt like you had to do that with a portable power solution. So we're gonna circle back to that 50 amp plug because that one's a little bit more complicated. But with a 240 volt inverter, we're dealing with a very, very high end system here. Now I've mentioned this a few times before. This is perfect as a standalone unit. You notice that there's no DC outputs. It's all AC outputs on this. It is designed with some of the ports on the side to be the top of a total modular system. So over here, I have its DC hub. It clips on the side, but you have some incredible, never before seen DC options. Of course, you have your standard cigarette style lighters, um, but when you look down at the bottom, you have your USBs and you have your 100 watt USB-Cs. You can also switch this to 24 volts. So certain devices, our camping fridge, certain things like to run on 24 volts. This is gonna be able to do that. But on the end, you have a massive 50 amp 12 volt Anderson. This will power the whole DC side of your RV or a cabin. We've talked about this on the channel before. I've always had to create my own like homemade hacked system to do that. This can even run a 24 volt uh, fuse block if you choose. You can select between those different voltages, but this is over the top. So uh, it is a separate module, and what you're gonna see is that that's the design of this. If you don't need DC items, you can leave this out, but for those of you in off-grid cabins or van builds, this thing is gonna be worth every penny. Now from here, I'm gonna start to talk about the battery expansion, and I'm gonna hook that battery up right now and come back. I don't know if you can still see me behind this thing, but this is their B300K. This is an expansion battery that works with other Blue Eddies, but it works with this system as well. This Apex 300 will take other expansion batteries from Blue Eddy as well, but this new 300K, you can put up to six of these into this system. So we were dealing with over 2,700 watt hours as the standalone unit, we're jumping up to over 5,500 watt hours with this setup. From here, you can add more down the road. You don't have, they don't all have to be the same age. You can expand on this when your budget or need requires. And I love that. So we have massive charging, massive discharging capabilities. We have the 240 and now we have this expandability. So at 5.5 kilowatts, kilowatt hours, now we're dealing with something that can power air conditioning and actually run it for a prolonged period of time or power an entire cabin or a hunting camp or even a shed or something that you have on the property. This setup with six of those B300 batteries gets you over 19,000 watt hours. We're talking about whole house power solutions here. Or those folks that sell their house and move into a big coach or a motor home, you could run your electric dryer, you could do everything that you could do at home with this sort of setup and you no longer have to have the electrical you know, knowledge and experience to build these things out. It just plugs in together. At the price point for this, I can't even build this setup for what they're selling it for on the early bird special. I'm sure that price is gonna climb, but it's wild. If that wasn't crazy enough, this whole ecosystem gets built out. There's a parallel hub where you can connect two Apex 300s together. You can connect six batteries to both of those. So now you're getting up to close to, I don't know, 38, 39, I have it written down here somewhere. Yeah, you're getting over 3,800 watt hours with that double Apex 3 setup with the battery stacks. This is something that people can put in their house with a whole solar array on the roof and you can run on these, but with the app, if it drops down to 20%, it'll go back to grid power. So for people who have variable rates on their electricity, this could actually pay for itself. But when I get done showing you all the features, I wanna talk about what I really think the top end capability of this is and who this will make the most sense for. So if you thought the two Apex 3s 
or crazy. The hu parallel hub actually allows you to connect three. So now you're gonna be spending some serious money, but there's a hub that allows you to connect three of these top units together. Six batteries, if you want, to each of those. At that level, you're now able to actually get the 50 amps 240 out of the side port. You've maxed this thing out. But the capacity, I have to keep looking at because uh, it's unbelievable to me. 58,000 watt hours, so almost 60,000 watt hours. Guys, I use 15,000 watt hours a day on my home. That puts in perspective that a setup built out like that could actually run my home for a sustained period of time and I could connect enough solar in with their solar hub to be able to actually use a whole rooftop array with this. So I'm trying to do an overview. We could do hours diving into the features here, but let's kind of put this into bite-sized pieces. Your start alone unit, Perfect power station, priced well, a great way to bring AC power to a mobile setup like your camper or use as home energy backup. The expandability allows you to go to unthinkable levels. You could build out three towers of this that stand as tall as me. They have ways that you can run your whole home with smart load centers that switch back and forth. Take some time to check this out because the technology has developed so quickly that really the sky is the limit. But when you get into the massive high-end potential of this, who is really gonna be in the market for this? Is it just gonna be rich people that wanna have the coolest camper in the world? I don't think so. I used to work in off-grid construction and there's several applications that are gonna make this the best deal possible. I'm still working on a cabin where the client was not able to run hardwired electric to the cabin on the back of their property. They're allowed to run systems like this. So you could actually install the necessary capacity and be able to use electric in that cabin. They want to Airbnb it, of course, right? You can use it just like you would in your home. In that case, this is a tool that can fix something that you otherwise couldn't do. Otherwise, you'd be running a giant diesel generator out there, and that's not a very effective option as well. There's other cases, like I'm going through on my own property, where I built a pole barn on the far back section of the property. To run utilities back there would be $25,000, and I can do the work myself. We're talking about the necessary feed wires to go back there, trenched or utility poles put in, new load centers. You have distances that you can run before the utility company wants a separate meter. Solutions like this are actually cheaper than going and paying a master electrician to put in a new sub panel for your shed or your garage in the backyard. What I love about it is you can get into this for a couple grand. Two, three years down the road, you can expand upon it if you want. So for today's overview, I'm going to show you a lot more in the future, but I basically wanted to introduce this while the prices are so hot. This Apex system, when you bundle it with uh, the B300K, again, you're like 36, 37 cents a watt hour. That's the best deal in the business. And I wanted to let you know that this thing is future proof all the way up to the point where I'm considering uh, running my house on this thing. So I hope you guys appreciate this. I'm gonna be appearing on uh, Blue Eddie's live stream talking about this thing. Thanks to Blue Eddie for giving this to me early so I could play with it and talk with it with you guys on the channel. Check out the links, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time.